Well, from last year's severe flooding to tornado outbreaks here in Metro Detroit, we are certainly feeling the impact of climate change. It's only heightening the push for a cleaner future built on renewable energy. By the end of 2021, Michigan had 14,000 solar installations across the state, including 178 solar companies. Enough solar installed to power nearly 132,000 homes. 7 Action News anchor Brian Abel joins us with a look now at Michigan's push for clean energy. Yeah, Dave Carolyn, just last week, Governor Whitmer unveiled her plan to transition Michigan toward cleaner energy. Now, with DTE being the largest provider of energy to Metro Detroit, we paid a visit to see what they are doing to go green. Tornado warnings, extreme flooding, dangerous wind and lightning. The changing climate hasn't gone unnoticed by Southeast Michigan's largest energy provider. We view climate change and the implications of climate change as one of the most critical policy issues of our time. DTE says it's working to reduce carbon emissions by 80% by 2040 and net zero carbon by 2050. Governor Gretchen Whitmer recently announced that same goal for the entire state. Wind has so far been the predominant way to get there. MPSC, the regulatory body for energy in Michigan, says 77% of renewable energy in the state in 2021 came from wind turbines. Wind parks will continue, but solar is likely going to be DTE's driving force moving forward. Um, when you look at it from a cost standpoint as compared to a wind park, it's actually cheaper now. In Lapeer, this solar farm supports somewhere between 10 to 11,000 homes on the grid. These are only what, five years old now? 2017 is when this project came online. Yeah, and this was at the time, right, the largest solar park in Michigan, one of the largest east of the Mississippi. Uh, but really we've seen the growth of the solar industry just just explode in recent years what's considered a panel like are we talking about just one of these as a panel or the whole thing every yeah this kind of outlined by the the metal that is considered a, a panel a single panel a panel and, and how many are here Two hundred thousand. this project getting dwarfed by new solar farms two three even four times its size with better technology panels that rotate to keep track with the sun. On the newer newer projects is the panels are bifacial, meaning the panels you see here, they only capture sunlight coming in this direction. Other panels, the, the newer technologies, also have an ability to capture um, sunlight that bounces off the earth on the backside and the underside of the panels. The newer solar farms can capture as much as 10% more capacity for the grid, but solar comes at a cost to maintain. So what were you guys doing today? Uh, we were cleaning inside the inverter, making sure it was clean, um, making sure there wasn't anything wrong with the buses. And to build, eco-conscious customers are helping bear it with a voluntary program, My Green Power, a small premium on their DTE electric bill that goes toward building cleaner energy, a small but crucial step in the march toward a renewable energy future. How much farther do we have to go? You know, we've, we've made really good progress in the state of Michigan. There's definitely a long ways to go to get us from where we're at now to what our ultimate goal is, which is having really no net carbon emissions into the atmosphere. Now, DTE says between 500 to 600 customers are signing up each week for that program. 54,000 customers so far in over 500 businesses. To learn more and to take a virtual tour of DTE's wind and solar parks, head to WXYZ.com and find this story. Carolyn? Wow, certainly the wave of the future. Great story. Thank you, Brian.